So tell my friends that I'll be over here Hi everybody, I am April Simpson Hunt of Mermaid Mama Designs. Welcome. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Um, I have been trying to do a Sunday vlog every week, um, but this last Sunday's vlog ended up being a really sad, <laughs> I was having an emotional day and I was very sad that day. Um, so that was kind of a downer. Um, I watched the video myself afterwards and I thought, eh. I don't really know if I should keep this up here, but I am keeping it up because I know that other people struggle with things that are on the holidays, um, especially if they've had a loss in the last year like we have. Um, but today's topic, I wanted to be a little bit more light beat. Um, I am a mom of necessity. <laughs> um, my mother, growing up, she had five kids. My dad was in the military. She was a single parent a lot and she ran our household like a military household. Um, she was a very strict disciplinarian and our house ran like a well-oiled machine. We did chores, we were responsible, we had to be good, go, go to church, and we were raised in a very Christian, um, conservative house. Um, and that is always how I thought that I would parent. Um, and then I had a kid. <laughs> And the things that I've discovered about myself um, <clears throat> are that I, like I said, I'm a parent of necessity. Um, there are certain things, certain uh, ways of disciplining that I feel are necessary. Um, it is very much my responsibility to teach my children to be good people and not be assholes. That's my job. Um, but at the same time, um, I don't always want to fight that battle. Um, my mom, uh, I'm very jealous that she had, she seemed to have this parenting gene uh, that she could fight all the battles all the time and win. Um, and don't get me wrong, I feel like I can absolutely win if I need to, if I put my foot down. But there are some times when mama just ain't got time for that and I'm just too tired for that. Um, uh, not Maybe not so much with my first child. Um, my husband and I had our first child and then we broke up for a little bit because we had such different uh, parenting styles and beliefs and we are just on opposite planes on most things. Um, so we broke up for a little while and we ended up getting back together and getting married and I ended up getting pregnant again and I had a second child. And he has two children from his, uh, a previous relationship. Um, so we have four kids all together. Um, so I went from being a mom of one to being a mom of four pretty rapidly. Um, and I, I kept telling him I feel like my parenting skill level is at like a level toddler and I'm parenting preteens, which is, is still kind of how I feel sometimes. Uh, I feel like I'm too tired for it. I don't want to mess with it. Um, there are certain things, uh, lying, respect, um, like I said, my kids not being assholes. <laughs> there are certain things, character issues, that are important to me and I will absolutely put my foot down and I will raise my children, uh, discipline them if I have to. But there are other things, like a two-year-old eating candy, <laughs> that I'm not, yeah. ain't no mama got time for that. I'm not gonna fight that battle. Um, I will. I mean, granted, she doesn't need to eat a whole bucket full of chocolate. Um, but I breastfed and I co-sleep with my kids. Um, and I always, I sometimes, you know, get the pats on the back. Like, way to go. Good for you for breastfeeding. And I don't say this to demean breastfeeding at all. But I breastfed because it was cheap and it was easy. Um, it's what's best for my kids and I like to think that I do what's best for my kids regardless. Breast milk is what was best and I was very blessed to be able to breastfeed. Uh, I saw a lot of women that struggled with breastfeeding so I know how blessed I am. Um, but I didn't have to get up at 2 a.m. for a bottle. I didn't have to pump for days on end. I could just roll over and stick a boob in her mouth and go back to sleep. And that is probably how I would describe my parenting. Um, 
you can call it necessity, you can call it laziness, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But I have four children. I am outnumbered, outmanned. Um, Daddy's not here very often. So we do what we need to do out of necessity. And I think that there are probably a lot of you out there that are like me, that would agree with me. Um, right now, my daughter is sick. Um, she has a cold, right? Just, you know, she's sniffling, she's coughing, she doesn't feel good, she's all snotty and nasty. My first baby, um, I would have taken him to the doctor probably two or three times by now. Not because I'm neurotic, just because she's had it for, you know, off and on for about two weeks now. And she, she went to the doctor when she had a fever, I think, last week. Um, but it's a flu. Uh, if the fever doesn't go over 102 or 103, if it goes away on its own, which it did until the weather changed again, um, they're not... I don't have to take them to the doctor, you know what I mean? Um, see, this is all she wants, basically. She's sick. She doesn't feel good. Huh. What else do we do that's easy? Oh, bedtime. Bedtime, um, we put all of our kids to bed around the same time, which is very unusual, I know. Um, they usually go to bed around 9 um, on school nights. Um, and my five-year-old could probably stand to go to bed a little bit earlier, but again, it's not a battle I'm going to fight. As long as he is getting enough sleep, he has to be up by six in the morning, so he's getting more than enough hours, and he'll take a nap in the afternoon if he's tired. Um, it would probably be better for me <laughs> if I got on the schedule and put them to bed at like seven o'clock at night, because then I would have more free time for myself. But that's a battle that I don't feel like fighting all the time. Um, so, what about you? What kind of parenting style do you have? Are you a disciplinarian? Are you someone who just... <laughs> are you a lazy parent? Um, are you like my husband? Are you a spoiler? What kind of parent are you? Um, thanks so much for listening to me, Jabber. Say bye-bye. Thank you. Say bye friends, we'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go to night. Why are you being shy? You don't even need to be shy. Say, I'm a happy baby. Huh? <gasps> Is that Kalel? Kalel? Hey yo! Oh, it's Kalel! We were making a video. Come say hi. <laughs> it's on, come say hi. You did it right now, yeah. and I just came up here. Yes. Say hi. You just started it when I came yes. up here. You're not doing a long way. Just say hi. Say hi. 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 We're back again. Yes. I'm Kaleo, and I'm Aquila, and we're going to go feed the babies dinner in the kitchen. Yay. 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 I don't know. Say bye-bye. Bye, Thank you for watching. Why would I start it up here? Say please yeah. like and subscribe. Subscribe. Please. Hit the um, um hit, hit the, the hit the hit the like button down, guys. Hit the like button down, guys. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell and ding. Mermaid Mama Designs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For toys too. Say comment if you want a toy video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Tell my friends that I'll be over here. Oh, here.